Hi, I'm Onita Fries, and together with my co-author Lena Kopperbull, I wrote uh, this book. It's our fourth. It's called uh, Den Betingsomme Morder in Danish, and in English it's The Thoughtful Killer. And you're watching Book Zone. Agneta Fries, you are one half of a crime writing duo. Tell us about your partnership with Lena Kapabal. Well, I first started writing with uh, Lena about six years ago. And uh, actually it started out with uh, Lena having um, a picture or an image coming back to her all the time uh, with a small boy packed in a suitcase. Um, she was a children's author at the time and she knew that that wouldn't really work as a children's book and um, he thought it might be crime fiction that was on the way <laughs> to her and so um, uh, she contacted me and asked if we should write it together. So your breakthrough novel was The Boy in the Suitcase where you introduced us to your lead character nurse Nina Borg. Who is she? Nina is a, a nurse and a very, um, she's a bit of a troubled person, you might say. Uh, she's been uh, stationed out in disaster areas uh, uh, for a number of times and she's having difficulty coming back to a very safe and very uh, sheltered society like the Danish society. Um, and so she's trying to um, keep on working with people who actually have serious needs by helping uh, illegal uh, refugees in Denmark. Um, and by doing so, she gets into contact with sort of a, a parallel universe that we have in Denmark, I think, as in mo most other countries, um, where people are living um, uh, without the normal rules of society, because if they are sick, they cannot go to the hospital. And if they, have a, if they have a crime committed against them, they cannot go to the police. Uh, so this is how she gets into, uh, into trouble a number of times. You've now written four Nina Borg books. What's the latest one about? Our fourth book uh, sets uh, partly in Denmark and uh, also partly in, on the, in, in the Philippines. Um, we meet uh, Nina um, at a point in her life where she's been uh, divorced. Uh, she's gone back to her hometown to take care of her mother because she's sick. And uh, then suddenly she's attacked uh, out of nowhere in, in a parking lot. And she survives uh, just barely and the attacker um, escapes. And now she has to find out what and why uh, this happened. Um, and um, on the other, uh, in the other end of the story, we have three young uh, Philippine medicine students um, and a very special friendship that they form and eventually ends up being tangled into the Danish story. The books are selling in the UK, Japan, USA. Do you think that good literature transcends borders or do you have to think consciously about developing characters and stories that work across borders? We don't do a lot to, to make it fit into other markets or other cultures because uh, I think part of the strength is also that it is special for, for a Danish writer. And it's okay that there are things that people might not understand or might not see uh, I mean, f for instance, uh, with the Danish system, we have some day daycare at school, which is different, obviously, from country to country. But, I mean, people learn and it's part of the charm, I think. Agnita Fries, thank you very much indeed for joining me. You're welcome.